All right guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a video that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Um, I was kind of always putting it off because I wanted this to be right and I wanted that to be right, but it just finally came to the point where it's like, I just gotta make the video and I'm just gonna put it out. And then if I wanna make another video, I'll make, a video, I'll make it again. Let's just get it done. I'm gonna be doing a video today telling you guys how I learned to bunny hop and the five things that you can do to learn to bunny hop the right way. Jason, can you bunny hop? Bunny hop? Yeah, can you bunny hop? Yes, I can. Let's but, do it, but what? Are you talking about with clips or without? Because I can do both. Can you do it right now? I am wearing clips. Uh, I can try and do it without clipping in. Well, That's kind of weird. Just do a bunny hop, I don't care. <laughs> can you bunny hop up this curb? Okay, okay, so he did it. All right guys, so I'm here with Jason Gansky, and today I'm gonna give you guys my five tips on how to teach yourself to bunny hop. Um, there was five specific things that I did over the course of the past year to help me perfect learning to bunny hop. I'm not there like perfected, I'm still learning to go over higher and higher stuff, but I'm gonna get you guys up and running. All right guys, so first things first, I'm gonna explain to you how a bunny hop works. All right guys, so I'm gonna demonstrate on how to do a bunny hop with these bars in the proper form. All right, so. First things first, you're gonna send your weight up and you're gonna drive your weight straight down into the bottom bracket by bending over. Once you're bent over and you've compressed your suspension, you're gonna send your weight straight back. Ugh. All right guys, you notice how I fell? I fell because I legitly put my weight straight to the back and that's how you should feel when driving your weight down and putting it to the rear of the wheel because that's what's gonna pop the front wheel. So one thing to think about to kind of uh, illustrate this point is you're gonna kind of do a backwards L shape. You're gonna send your weight down, your butt down, and you're gonna send your butt straight back into an L. So here's the backwards L shape. Compress. Okay, so now, now that you have your front tire lifted because you've properly driven your weight to the rear of the bike, your wheel is now popping up. As your wheel pops up, you bring the handlebars down, to your waist. So your, your tire's up, your handlebars to your waist, you're gonna scoop up and push out. Scoop up and then push out. And you're gonna come down landing flat. So that is how you do a bunny hop in theory. Just kind of practice that form. One Another thing to kind of take note of is that when you're compressing into your bike, your feet are level. Now as you're driving to the back of the bike, your feet are now going like this, heels down. Now as you bring the handlebars here, now your feet are going to begin to level as you press out and you're gonna land level. All right guys, hope that makes sense and I hope that helps. So the first tip to learning a bunny hop is use flat pedals. I cannot stress this enough. You have no idea how many times I've run into somebody who's been riding like, oh, they say I've been riding clipless like my entire time riding for the past five, 10, 20 years, one year, it doesn't matter. And when I look at their bunny hop skills, it's like they just pull up. They use their clips to pull up on the bike and that's just bad technique. If you guys are just getting into mountain bike riding and you wanna learn to bunny hop, use flat pedals. And once you learn to bunny hop with flat pedals, then think about going to clipless. So that's my first tip on learning to bunny hop. All right guys, so now I'm gonna bring you my second tip that was very useful to me while learning to bunny hop. Because getting your weight to the back of the bike can be probably the scariest thing when learning to bunny hop. Cause you don't wanna like go off the back, land on your back, it always freaks you out. I really needed to take that fear away. So what I needed to do was find a spot that was soft. Like here, there's nothing but grass here. So the second tip is to learn to bail off the rear of the bike. Because if you can learn to bail off the rear of the bike safely, you can then learn to shift your weight from the front of the bike to the rear of the bike and lift up the front tire and land safely on two feet if you're going to mess up while you're doing a bunny hop. If you can learn to bail off the back of the bike, you get basically get rid of that fear of sending all your weight to the rear. So this is what it should look like. So 
So my third tip is guys, if you can't bunny hop, practice your wheelies and manuals. So by using the wheelie, you're kind of learning to get comfortable with riding on your rear wheel. And with using the manual, you're getting used to throwing your weight to the back so you can get that perfect L shape. So practicing wheelies and manuals can be a really good help in learning to get yourself, your body and your mind coordinated to actually pull off a bunny hop. And you don't, this is the thing, you don't have to do them perfectly. You just have to practice them. So case in point, when I learned to bunny hop, I was not able to wheelie for long periods of time and I was not able to manual for long periods of time. I still can't. So here you go. I'll show you just what I was doing in the beginning. I still can't manual very well flat. All right guys, so the point of that whole thing is just to show you that, just to practice it, because you know what to do. You know to go straight down and pull back in an L shape, but your nerves are working against you, your fear is working against you, so it's very important practicing to throw yourself off the back of the bike to feel safer, and it's very important to just continue practicing it over and over. Always remember guys, Every failure is just one step closer to actually freaking making it happen. So just think about it that way. After you're practicing getting your weight to the back of the bike and after you're practicing your wheelies and manuals, once you start getting a little bit comfortable with that, then you're gonna start to get to that point to where you're going to send it back and then stand straight up. And then that's when you're gonna bring the bars to your belly. So let's demonstrate that. So you're practicing wheelies and manuals. You compress, throw back, and just stand straight up in the air. It's gonna happen ever so slightly. You're just gonna go out one day and then you're gonna just stand straight up and then you're gonna realize that you're shifting your weight to the front and then you're equaling out the bike and you're actually getting two tires in the air. I swear, it happened. I literally was only practicing for about two months until I was able to actually get both tires in the air. So once you get that weight down and your weight to the back and you're able to pull at the front tire, you just gotta stand straight up in the air and then it should do it right on its own. All right guys, so the fourth tip is to find a curb that basically gradually ascends. So what you're gonna do, once you can start getting both wheels in the air, you're gonna find a curb that you could session on. So when you first start and you first learn to bunny hop, you're gonna start on the smallest end of the curb and work your way up. So I'll demonstrate. So my fifth and final tip is find a bush. The reason why I say find a bush is because in order to perfect your bunny hops, you have to push your limits. And the safest way to do that that I've found is to find like a bush because theoretically this bush is higher than I could probably bunny hop on a consistent basis. This is a great bush for me to push my limits because if I can't bunny hop over the entire thing, it's okay. So I'm just gonna land in the bush and the bike's gonna be okay, I'm gonna be okay, all gonna be okay. So bushes I find are good ways to push your height on your bunny hops. I think this is probably the best way to learn how to bunny hop higher because when you just sit there and you just practice to bunny hop over and over, it doesn't click in your brain that you have to use like extra strength or over exaggerate some moves to get over something. So if you have like a frame of reference like this bush, when you approach it, you're gonna find that you're going to approach the bunny hop a little bit differently in order for you to get over to the other side. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to bunny hop this over this thing. I really highly doubt it, but I'm gonna to attempt to. Hey, if you if you don't touch that bush, then you get to touch the other ones behind it. <laughs> All right, guys. So check it out. I nowhere near was able to clear it, but I at least got a feel for it. And my bike's okay, and I'm okay. So I'm gonna keep trying a couple more times. So with some time and practice, I would be able to get over that branch safely and sound. You know, every time I hit it, but every time I felt a little bit more confident. So just keep practicing stuff like that and eventually you get your bunny hops higher. You'll get them more consistent and better. Check it out. So this was basically just, I've never done like a 
video where I taught anyone anything before. This is just my humble attempt to be able to pass on the knowledge that I have gained through this past year of learning to bunny hop and just learning to mountain bike in general. So guys, go easy on me. But if you want to give me hell in the comments, give me hell in the comments. But if you have any other tips, like useful tips for other people that they can gain to basically teach themselves how to bunny hop better and to take their skills to the next level, then leave a comment happily, guys. But yeah, if you have any tips for me, let me know. I know, like, I literally just came out today. I know some of my technique wasn't 100% spot on, but I really hope that you guys who are learning to bunny hop will really be able to gain from this video. Like, my videos are all about, like, vlog style. This is basically my vlog about five tips that I have found useful to teach me to bunny hop we're here at the BMX jumps right now and honestly learning to bunny hop and, and all the tips that I just shared with you helped out immensely with just learning to be able to do some of these jumps here so I'm gonna get sessioning these jumps and hopefully take these to the next level and, and bring you guys a future vlog about how to jump better you know what I mean so if you guys like this video let me know let me know what you didn't like everything it's all good so guys this is Tony with NTB drop-in I want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe I'm dropping out guys. Stay strong and keep pedaling. Yeah, the clips. I love clips, dude. You feel so much more in control of the bike.